Hello friends, it's been a long time and uh, it's nice to see you again. Well, we are in a park here at uh, Digos that I've never heard that something like this was just opened. Um, I only got a whiff. Oops, that's my GPS. I only got a whiff of this when I looked at the internet. But here we are. And let's go and check out the uh, Digo City Echo Park and Arboretum. But before that, we're gonna go and have an eye in the sky. So off you go. That's how it looks like when you arrive here. They make sure that you don't get lost. And I think 20 pesos is the entrance fee for for this park. Um, they gave you something like this as a, as a proof of payment. So. Uh, May buntag. Kabahad na. Ah, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Well secured area. So, uh, I think this is a receiving area right there. And then you have offices. That's where you pay the entrance. And, uh, I don't know. So, from this point, you will see or but there is a is this a natural lake or I don't know if they made it if it's a man-made lake then it's a beautiful beautifully made lake hi hello I'll give you a picture <laughs> hi. hi a view of nature So let's take a, a walking tour, a semi-silent walking tour. Um, and uh, let's see, oh, there's, there's more to this place. I thought this is just it, but if you look down here, there's more to it. That is the entrance right there for, I guess, service trucks. And then they have tables and chairs here for you to go on a picnic. So we'll explore more of those areas later, but we will. I think let's. I think it would be better if we go on a uh, walk or a. Uh, 
yeah, I walk along the uh, lake. Look, where's the girl? I think that's how they clean the um, the water. Hello. Hi. Hi. Say, mo tanda ko di ba? Kani 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 bitaw siya drete. Game o nai o daan daan na ning lake drete. Daan na mani. Ay kon mani kanong. Ah, lake gini siya drete. So dili ni siya wala kanang mar dili giman mid o kanang mar gi develop na lang siya. Limpyo no? Napo siya mga isda drete. Ah, okay. Oh, abot ko din siya dito tino Pero Pwede mang isda dito Dili, bawal Ah, okay Siguro, mahuma na siguro Ano siguro mm, Pero kung nang mura bito, kung nang mamasul ko niya Bayaran lang niyo Pero sa karot, eh, wala pa ah, Sige te, thank you So we have some sheds here where you can sit with your kids, your family and enjoy the view from the lake over there. So apparently uh, the city mayor is the one who is um, taking care of the fish here. Um, for now, um, fishing is not allowed but maybe in the future where you, you can fish and um, pay for the fish that you catch like other resorts that we've been through and then that is the process that they're doing hi hello hello vlog hello vlog subscriber blue moon travelers bye girls <laughs> so See that? It's cold. Life is in the lake. They have water here, but um, I guess you can just bring your own, just to be on the safe side. We are lucky today because it's not that cold or not that hot. Uh, to go walking. Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> so if you see there, there's there are stores over there where you can um, buy stuff if you do not bring your own picnic stuff. So let's go and check the things they they are selling. So we'll go there. Later, and then you have a bike lane here. And if you look behind me, that's a bike lane and a jog lane. We came from there, and then here is the stores where you can get a grab or get a bite to eat. So there are your directions on where to go. So we are at the spillway stairs. Let's go and um, let's go and check out the other side of the park. Hmm, they have a grill station here. I don't know if you can cook here for free or if there's a charge. Um, I don't know. Looks like this place, this thing hasn't been used in ages. So, tables and chairs. Mm, it's a good place to. It's a good place to camp right here. Oh, 
Is this like a watershed? Because you see there, there is a. I think I don't know what it's called, but there's water coming down from there, going to here, but clean water. So it's like a watershed going through there. So this is really a, an eco park, which I think is the first here, and um, first in Digos. We have eco parks in Dava, but um, um, it's good to have one here in Digos, where I think this is better than Dava, in my in my opinion, because they have tables and chairs under the see they have tables and chairs under the trees so you don't have to be sweating or suffer in and under the sunlight or the, the heat of the day <laughs> so, so we have the toilet there. Directions. So from this point, everything is really picturesque. Um, <clears throat> if you see there, people lazing around. Let's go and check the toilet. It's a loo review. What a way to enter the toilet. You can see the clean water over here. And then they have this machine. I think this one pumps water all the way there to water the plants. See, really clear water. Right here. I think that's how things should be in a public public place. Just because it is a public place doesn't mean that the restrooms have to be disgusting. So far, I'm really liking this place, you know? Um, everything's clean, everything's pristine. If you just want to relax, the only downside, the, the only um, downside to this place is just um, you have to take a, a transport. It's not something that you can get down from the main road and just walk to it because the place is a little bit secluded so you have to 
hire a uh, transport which can go all the way in here if you don't have your own personal automobile so let's go up there and then um, walk down from there check the um, the view So there is a little bit of a commotion here, specifically over there. Um, those folks saw a snake um, and they want to kill the snake. Um, it is natural to be afraid when you see one of those creatures here, but um, just to make a point that those creatures, the snake was here before all of this was developed. So technically and officially they own the place so don't kill them if you see one just move away and um, call the park attendant to call the park attendant to take care of it for you So if you see these lights, um, they would, I think, light up this park at night. And uh, if you look at the internet or Google, you will see pictures of this park um, that are open at night and then the lights are on. Really beautiful. So I don't, I don't know if they are opening this place. Um, until what time at night but apparently they are because of the lights hi hello nakita niyo yung bitin hello ko bitin mo So, if you are indigos and you want to kill some time, uh, maybe you're here early in the year, uh, a few hours before your meeting or whatnot, um, come and check out um, this echo park and relax. Breathe some fresh air. Air, fresh air that you don't get to experience in big cities anymore. Well, in here, in the echo park, you'll get a lot of those and very friendly staff very secure area there's a police station or there's a police checkpoint on your way in here it's not hot or it's you won't be exposed under the sun because of the shady trees so huh, come and uh, experience the power of nature and until then, on the next episode of Blue Moon Travelers, if you like this episode, 
don't forget to subscribe like and share and um, Merry Christmas and see you on the road <laughs>